G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'll be doing a bit of a different video. I will be reviewing Australia's performance um, a few days ago against India in the World Cup Grand Final uh, for cricket. Uh, obviously a little bit different because I haven't done a cricket video on uh, yeah this channel for quite some time. And uh, yeah, I don't plan on making too many Um uh, this will be like uh, often if you see a cricket video they're going to be rare and you know pretty one of a kind and unique but um yeah let's just basically go over and discuss what occurred um a few nights ago um so yeah obviously straight away i'll start off with it was an amazing win an amazing tournament um uh, from where we were at the start of the tournament to now i don't think anyone was uh predicting um, that we would, you know, win the tournament, and the fact that we were massive underdogs as well uh, was even better. Um, uh, yeah, it's such a memorable win as well, you know, because India, they've won every single game of the tournament, you know, pretty big rivals uh, with Australia, and, uh, yeah, just to come out and play the way we did was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, we, we had so many different great uh, batters over the whole tournament, but the fact that... Uh, Travis Head was able to get going um, for the grand final was really, really good. His innings certainly did win us the game. And Paddy Cummins' leadership coming into the game, uh, he pretty much already knew that he was going to uh, pick to bowl first. Um, we're going to have a chase, you know, with the, the dew coming on later on in the uh, innings. was always going to, you know, um, uh, possibly help out the uh, team batting seconds. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Obviously, he started off with... Um, Getting uh, Shabnam Gill out, he's always a pretty dangerous player. Um, but getting him out cheaply for four off just seven balls was absolutely humongous. And Mitchell Stark bowled really, really well. Um, and then the big one of Rohit Sharma. You know, we walked Glenn Maxwell on in the power play, the first ten overs. Bit of a risky move. Uh, one that definitely turned out to be a good one because Travis Head took an absolute ripping catch. Travis Head had a... A night to remember, that's for sure. Um, sending the Indian skipper out for just 47 or 31. He's had some sort of a tournament, Rohit Sharma, and I'm actually surprised that uh, he didn't deliver uh, for India. Um, and normally, if Rohit doesn't deliver, uh, Virat Kohli would. And uh, yeah, he uh, kind of did. He got a half century. was one of India's best bat batters on the night and was obviously the player of the tournament by a fair margin. Um, made so many centuries over the tournament, but was bowled by Paddy Cummins. It was a ripping ball. It was a big wicket. Changed the game, really, getting Virat Kohli out. Uh, Shiris Air got out early as well. He got uh, caught behind, little Nick. Um, that was a pretty big wicket as well, getting him out cheaply for just four or three. Um, Rahul as well, um, the Indian wicketkeeper, was their best batter. Uh, he made 66, and he looked like the key to the to the innings, and when we, when he went out, um, thanks to Mitchell Stark, um, yeah, that certainly did, uh, you know, probably cement the Aussies as the favourites heading into the uh, second innings, um, and then all their all-rounders, Judge uh, Yardov, Shami, Bumrah, they all went out uh, for quite cheaply, Yardov made 18, he was uh, somewhat decent, couldn't quite get going low, and, uh, yeah, um, those wickets all fell to, like, Hazelwood, Stark, and Zampa, as you'd expect. We got a run out of Kuldeep Yadav uh, for 10 off 18. And Mohamed Sh uh, Shiraji was the only player not out for India. Um, now, um, yeah, yeah, obviously Mitchell Stark took our most wickets. But, in my opinion, Paddy Cummins was probably the best out of the bowling innings. Took 2 for 34. Mitchell Stark got 3 for 55. Hazelwood, 2 for 60. Uh, Glenn Maxwell got one for 35, Zampa got one for 44, and we bowled two overs of both Head and March, and Marsh, and they went for uh, four and five, respectively. Um, now into our batting innings, you know, this was definitely going to be, you know, the point of the game where, you know, Australia would win if we got, you know, our batting right, and we haven't really been able to consistently um bat uh throughout the tournament you know obviously india are a much better batting team than us um or certainly in Aussie cricket so it was always going to be difficult but uh yeah we managed to get it done thanks to travis head if we didn't have travis head's massive century and and partnership with minus labashane then i don't think we would have won because 
Davy Warner, you know, he, he, he didn't quite get going and didn't really in the other final as well. He was uh, dismissed quite cheaply for just seven. Mitchell Marsh made 15 from 15, which was unfortunate. Couldn't quite uh, do what he did uh, in the uh, semi-final against South Africa. Uh, Steve Smith was disappointing, and he's had a pretty disappointing disappointing tournament I believe he's one of the only you know proper batsmen apart from Inglis and Carey I guess if you want to count him that uh, didn't make a century which was disappointing Marnus didn't make a century either but he has contributed to it with a few 50s in this big partnership he was actually really impressive Marnus had a pretty good game and Glenn Maxwell only made two off one so you know you, you can't really say that um he had a, an impact in uh, this game, but he certainly did in a few. Um, that game against Afghanistan was absolutely fantastic. I would have loved to make a video on that, but didn't get time that week due to homework and all that sort of stuff. No, it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had a few, um, you know, standout games in the tournament, that's for sure. Obviously, we lost our first two to India and South Africa, the two teams who we played in the finals, and then we went on that massive winning spree, we won our last eight heading into the finals, or seven or whatever it was, um, and then we won uh, both finals as well, obviously, um, yeah, what a memorable final it was, absolutely fantastic, doesn't get much better, does it, from an Australian point of view, um, and uh, yeah, you know, certainly a lot of confidence heading into um, our T20 series, um, coming up in a few days, um, against India, now, um, obviously, uh, this is, like, uh, gonna be a, a one, once-off, really, video for cricket, really, I'm not really making any cricket videos, um, but, uh, yeah, certainly had to make one for this massive achievement, um, it was really, really impressive, um, yeah, we're all pretty happy with, uh, the result, um, and, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, um, uh, a few games that definitely stood out for this tournament. Uh, the Afghanistan one was probably my favourite. I feel like most people would have liked that one. The New Zealand game was really good just because it was so close, you know. The England game was also very memorable because, you know, it always is when you play England. Um, and, of course, both finals. Um, both really, really enjoyable. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little uh you know review of uh the tournament um and uh yeah i hope to see you guys for some more ifl action very very soon